Gaining empathy in the design process is a critical part. It's the opportunity to really understand your user and understand what their real latent needs are. And this really allows you to create a product that is relevant to your users and that meets their needs. The project originated from a course at Stanford called Design for Extreme Affordability, where student teams are partnered with global nonprofits and asked to tackle some real challenging real world problems. The, the terrific thing about the Design for Affordability program is that it was targeting exactly the need that we had. They're looking to use smart design at low cost to solve social problems. Generally, these kids aren't able to walk properly, don't go to school, and so are at very high risk for poverty and abuse. The great news about Clubfoot is that there's a very effective treatment called the Ponsetti Method. Which consists of a series of castings for five to seven weeks, and that is followed by bracing, which maintains the correction, maintains the position, and that's done for four to five years. But in developing countries, there's a problem because braces are either too costly and unaffordable or poorly designed designed and very difficult to use, resulting in low compliance rates and higher relapse rates. So we went to Stanford and we said to them, what we need is a very easy to use, very comfortable, appealing and attractive brace, and we want you to do that for less than $20. Designing a product in a lab or shop is one thing, but actually going on site to test your product out is a completely different thing. Visiting the clinic is not only a great opportunity to interact with physicians and understand the medical requirements, but also to get into the heads of mothers, you know, understand what the daily struggle is like and figure out how we could best design to improve that daily process that they go through. The ability to have something in our hands and to be able to show it to doctors and to put it on kids and very quickly turn that around and make refinements and improve the brace, it was a wonderful wonderfully iterative process and again has enabled us to reach a design that is absolutely spot on very quickly. All week we've been testing out our brace prototypes. So far we've gotten lots of great feedback. Parents are really liking the key features including the detachable shoes, the fact that it it looks like a toy, it looks like it's fun for the children to use, the shoes are comfortable. They like that their child can stand and walk in the brace. It's designed to be low cost because it can be injection molded. Not only does that mean that we can make this available to the masses, but it also helps to provide quality control. They observe it and they ask us what we wanted from a brace. And they join our necessities and the family's necessities and the children's necessities to build a brace that serves to everyone. Eu achei mais prático uhum. para ele andar, né? Uhum. Super fácil colocar e tirar. É bem diferente. E, na minha opinião, é melhor do que a outra. Muito mais fácil. Mais fácil. So the impact of this brace is extraordinary. At the individual level for the child, um, it's going to result in a much more comfortable treatment, better compliance, and so a great end result. So all these kids are going to be able to play soccer, run around, and live productive, healthy lives. It's amazing. On a global scale, what it means is that organizations like Miracle Feet will be able to scale up that much more quickly and really reach the hope of eradicating disability caused by untreated clubfoot. This brace makes that a reality. It makes it possible. And we hope to be able to fulfill that need with the Miracle Feet brace, uh, providing not only a low-cost solution, but you know, an elegantly designed one that provides high functionality for our end user.